I am constantly working with different apps and engaging with you guys. But the more we talk, the more I realize that some of you don't know how to bring the different features and tools that we review to tackle daily challenges. It is my hope that from this workflow video, you can get some ideas that you can use in your workflow. Fantastic one. Hello. So today I want to make a copy of a course outline that is in Outful. I'd already opened it before I remembered that I need to show you guys some of my work process. So that's why it's already open and I've already found it. This particular style of work, I've never done it before, but I thought it would be cool to do it this way because I want these notes that you're currently seeing in Outful, I want them as text in Apple Notes. Novel doesn't have a way for me to interact with my handwriting in a way to convert it to text. My best shot is using live text. And the first way to do that is to take a screenshot of the page. It's faster than exporting the page as an image. But we'll also do that workflow so you guys see how that works. Once I take my screenshot and activate live text, I will select this first part, copy it, and save the screenshots to photos. Then in Apple Notes, I'll create a new notebook. And paste what I just copied. Actually, this is in the wrong folder, so I'm going to move it to the right one. I always want to make sure that everything is in the right folder to make it easier to find later. Because the conversion is not very accurate, I have to fix some items, but it's much better than writing the whole thing from scratch. Now I'll go back to Nofu to show you how to export a photo instead of taking a screenshot. I'm only doing this so you guys can see different ways to do this. Personally, I'll just stick to the screenshot idea in Nofu, but there are many ways to doing the same thing and that is what I want to highlight for you. So this is the page I want to export. I'll just select it for exporting because I just want the one page. And you can see that under page range, the app is only going to export the current selection, which is just the one page. For the format, I want an image. I don't need the background, but I do need the annotations. I will then share that and save the image to photos. And when I get into photos, you can see this is the screenshot I took earlier, but we're going to be working on the image that I exported. I will activate live text and copy the second column. To paste it in Apple Notes. Then everything else is pretty much the same after that. The accuracy of the conversion to text seemed a lot better for the exported image, but I think that's just because I probably just wrote it out better so it was easier to recognize. Not necessarily that this option is more accurate. They're exactly the same. Another way to use live text on PDFs is using the markup function. So going back to Noteful, 
I will export a PDF copy of the page this time. Then instead of saving it, I will mark up. But as you can see, this is actually not working in Outfall. That is because the app doesn't have an OCR feature that allows me to interact with the handwriting on the page. So in my workflow, I will continue using the photos and I'll show you that in a little bit, but I really want to demonstrate this in an app with OCR. So let's go to Notability because it uses a similar system to Noteform. Once I mark up my PDF when exporting from Notability and stop using the writing tool, I can interact with my handwriting in the PDF. So let's copy this and paste it in Apple Notes. The accuracy for this conversion with PDF is much better. As you can see, it has zero errors. And it's not like I was writing anything sensible. It's just random thoughts. But the app accurately converted everything that was in the conversion. That is because Notability supports OCR. It has that in the app, so it embeds it in the PDF that you export. So markup is the best way that you can do this with your notes if the app you're exporting from has OCR. I'm just going to delete that and continue with my move. For the third column, live text skip to items that I will have to write in after I paste this. A few minutes of moving items around, I now have the notes I had in Noteful in Apple Notes. There are still a few ideas that I still need to move and how I move them really depends on what I want to do with them. So I hope that you found this quick demo useful. Let me know if there are other daily workflows you'd like to see, how I work using the different tools that we review on this channel. Thank you. Fantastic one for watching. See you in the next workflow demo.